Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is episode 52, and today I was really hoping this episode would be breaking down the Superman teaser, but unfortunately, it wasn't released yesterday. However, Gunn did reveal when the trailer will be released, and he also talked about the performance of David Corrensweet in this movie. So let's not waste any more time and get into today's update. So let's start with the news I'm sure you want to know about. When is the trailer? Trailer coming out as it didn't release last night. Well, Gunn had this to say, it won't be too long until a trailer, but it won't be too soon either. Now that doesn't help much unless you know what is coming up, and if you add context to it. I would say that not too soon would be referring to the next month or so, so it won't be then, and not too long away would refer to within the next three to four months at a push. I think anything longer than that, then he would have just said it won't be for a while. So what are the two main events within that time frame? Well, we have Brazil's CCXP in early December, and then the Super Bowl in February. Other than those two events, nothing really major is happening in that time frame where a trailer could be released. So I think we have narrowed them down to those two events. And personally, I think Gunn's statement refers to Brazil's CCXP way more than the Super Bowl. I think the Super Bowl is actually too far away for Gunn's comments to be referred to that event. February 9th is just under four months away, and if I was asked when the Superman trailer is coming out and I had planned it to come out for Super Bowl, I wouldn't say it won't be too long, because four months is quite a while. I think Gunn is directly referring to CCXP in early December. It's right when Creature Commandos releases and a Superman trailer could really increase the hype for the DCU, which in turn would help tune in more people to that show. But even if that show wasn't releasing then, a Comic-Con event is ideal for showing us a first look at the movie. Gunn would be able to be there in person and talk a lot more about the film, maybe releasing a poster as well and could have the cast talking about the film for the first time. I really think that event is ideal. And saying it won't be too long but won't be too soon either, for me implies not within the next month or so but will be by the end of the year. And remember what David Corrensweet said in an interview recently. He confirms that the promotion for Superman kicks off at the end of 2024 in the Southern Hemisphere. Brazil is in the Southern Hemisphere and has a huge Comic-Con event in December at the end of the year. So Corrin Sweat's comments plus Gunn's vague answer last night for me just confirms that a trailer or teaser will be released at Brazil's CCXP this December. Everything just points towards that event. So I would say with quite a bit of confidence that we will get our first look at Superman between December 5th to December 8th in the Southern Hemisphere at Brazil's CCXP. Now let me know what you think about Gunn's vague statement in the comments below. When do you think the trailer will be released. But now let's get on to Gunn's other comments about David Corrensweet as Superman. He said, David Corrensweet is going to blow people the F away. I don't think anyone really understands the depth of this guy's talent, dramatically, comedically, physically. And that is brilliant to hear. Obviously Gunn was going to say only nice things about the lead of his new movie. Every director does it, but this is a lot of praise for David. He does look the part, and from his previous acting roles you can see this guy can really act, so it would make sense that he has done a great job here. So I really can't wait for what he does in this movie. Now I know some people will focus heavily on when Gunn mentions comedically. For some reason, some people hear that and think this is going to be Guardians of the Galaxy combined with some cheesy 80s movie, which is just completely wrong. Gunn has already said Superman won't be a comedy and won't be like his Guardians films, but that doesn't mean comedy can't play a part. And as long as it doesn't overshadow the story or scene, then I'm completely fine with the humour being in this film. And with Superman, who is meant to be a lighter and happier character, I actually want him to crack the odd joke here and there. That is what can help warm us to him even more, and I'm sure if we see him joking with the people of Metropolis, that can help us see the relationship he has with the people of his city. Now, my only concern is with the quality of the humour used. I think Guardians, for the most part, used real stupid humour, which I absolutely love, but it can get sickly sweet, and it doesn't work for every character. And that humour was only used there as the characters he was using were quite stupid themselves. Drax, Groot, and Quill weren't the smartest, 
and so that played into the humor being used. But Superman isn't stupid, and neither are any of the Superman bunch really, so that shouldn't really play a part. The only time I can really see it being used is if they go down the Christopher Reeve style for Clark Kent at the Daily Planet, which is a more timid and clumsy Clark, which I think would actually work perfectly with Gunn's style of humor, but he might go for a different take. I personally don't mind if it is similar to Reeve's version of Clark Kent, as I thought that really helped sell the argument that Kent could never be Superman, and it really stretched Reeve's acting ability, and I would love to see David's ability challenge like that too. But if it is completely different, then I'm also fine with that. I don't really mind how they do it, as long as it's not over the top, especially with the humor. I can't stand humor in superhero films where it completely ruins the danger and significance of a scene. And what is great is that this Superman film won't be a comedy, so whilst humor will exist in the film, and rightly so, it shouldn't overshadow the danger of scenes as there won't be as much comedy as, say, in his Suicide Squad or Guardians films. Remember, the characters Gunn used in those films were characters who either didn't care about the consequences or used humor as a way to deal with stressful situations, so them cracking jokes made sense for those characters. Fortunately, Superman isn't one of those characters, and in all fairness, in Gunn's other films, even when they did crack jokes at serious times, they also really did take it seriously and created some extremely powerful moments for us. So just imagine his Guardians films with like 50% less humor and the humor that is left changed to match the characters in this new film, plus the powerful moments Gunn has given us before and the visuals he has given us before too, but with a Superman twist. That is what this Superman should be based on what Gunn has said. And for me, that sounds like an incredible movie. I'm not saying that is what the film will be, but that is what I'm hoping for based on what we have heard and seen. And with Gunn's description of Corrin Sweat, people have completely ignored him saying dramatically. That is huge praise for something people seem to have completely glossed over. The dramatic side of David's performance and the movie. There will be dramatic scenes in this film, but all some people seem to think is that this film will be like the Batman TV series from the 60s, filled with tons of cheesy humor and nothing else. And I say this with the greatest respect, but I feel some are forcing hate and creating this other version of the film in their heads that is never happening, which is either from being greatly misinformed or making the wrong assumptions, or just because they want to increase the negativity surrounding this movie. And if I am wrong and all this negative stuff they are saying about the film is right, then I will openly admit I was wrong and apologize for that, and I will be very upset because the movie would be terrible. But I don't think it will, because many of the criticisms we hear from these fans about this film are easily debunked. For example, judging the comedy in his previous superhero films for the Superman movie is just strange. Guardians is a group of not so great people coming together and becoming heroes. The Suicide Squad is a group of villains being used by the government to do their dirty work. And Superman is a Boy Scout who is one of the most heroic superheroes of all time, just trying to do the right thing while spreading hope and optimism. It is so obvious that Superman is so different from those films, yet people seem to think that Gunn will use the same humor. I just don't get that assumption. So I don't have a fear of the amount of humor used or the style of humor. I think Gunn understands Superman more than some realize or want to admit, and hopefully in July, we will see that for ourselves. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!